Once human just had a brand new update, we got a ton of things there with the brand new patch, bug fixes, as well as what's going on currently in game. We're also going to discuss the brand new events, some of the new rewards that we're seeing, additionally some things that have been recently added to the game that aren't directly mentioned in the patch notes, and even some features that didn't quite make it in this update, as well as a whole bunch more. What's up world, it's Utopia back in with another video, today we're checking out all things once human. Okay, so let's jump right into it, let's get into the patch notes, what's happening there with that. So as usual, no opening statement it's been the same for every single patch jumping directly into the patch we do have some fixes here and these are mostly bug fixes i'm going to try to summarize these as best as possible as well as include some additional context so first up here now the public crisis event is currently available in phase five so we have a brand new phase here it was incorrectly labeled in the wrong place but now that is put into phase five i'll go over some of the new event stuff in a bit they went ahead and adjusted drop rates for certain weapons and masks mods they narrowed the difference there in drop rates for various keywords however that specific change looks like it's not going to be pushed in today's update and rather will be released tomorrow the tactical combat shoes had their hp restoration issue fixed there was an issue with the range bonuses those now work properly for the seasons they removed the goal to revive teammates with a deviation skill and they reduced the mitsuko's mark's first three star reward that's intended to apply for phase four currently so it should be a little bit easier to get the star chrome so with the removal of that contract it now should be a little bit easier to complete that goal I thought it might have been intended to use Dr. Teddy, which it does seem like that was the case that you had to use Dr. Teddy to actually revive a teammate. Seems like they removed it because it was a bit convoluted there. But yeah, you had essentially used Dr. Teddy, but most people were using adrenaline shots, I assume. So it was hard to communicate that, and just overall, not a very good challenge. The explosion effect temporarily won't damage dummies. They have a fix pending for this, but again, this will not be in this current update. There was an issue with Starcrom dropping, and they've improved the clarity of drop locations and interface prompts. This was regarding the territory purification gameplay. They've apologized here for the inconvenience, but hopefully this is the last time they have to fix this. Please do let me know if you're still having issues there. I know even at the last fix, people were still having issues, but I haven't seen anything on the Reddit, so I am curious if people have had issues currently, although we still need time for this to kind of process and people to play the game. Vehicles have now been fixed on getting stuck in public world areas, although it looks like people are still having issues here with that. Although these patch notes were posted after a lot of these concerns here, I'm not exactly sure if people are still having problems with it, but it seems like people were getting stuck when entering and exiting public event areas again it's noted in the patch notes so i assume this has been currently pushed and fixed although it seems like some people are still having the issues here that you had to alt f4 out or even teleport to your base it seems like the developers are aware of this bug overall they pushed a fix for it but it didn't fix it overall again we'll have to wait and see on that there if there's any updates i'll let you know if that bug is fixed eventually they also fixed an issue here where territory wouldn't load in all situations i believe there was a specific bridge area where you could essentially see through the floor there's probably other instances, but I know this has been posted on the Reddit as well as I experienced this as well. Seems like that's fixed now, so that's good to hear. That does cover for the patch note side of things. However, we do have to go over a couple more things with that, as there was some things added with the update that wasn't talked about as much with the patch notes, or not at all. Including this new feature, the August 1st patch actually did add AMD FSR. Although it looks like the AMD FSR version is not up to date currently. It seems like this is one of the later ones, as they didn't put the new one in there. Also, currently it looks like we do not have DLSS. And it looks like with this FSR version, it's not really improving people's frame rates. I've noticed overall that FSR has never improved my frame rate, so I don't use it. I do prefer to use DLSS when I can because I have an NVIDIA graphics card. Although sometimes in multiplayer games, the ghosting can be a bit much. Hopefully they use a newer version of DLSS and it isn't a lot with ghosting problems. Currently we've had two mentions of this as of right now. So in the FAQ section over on the Once Human website, they do mention here that Once Human will support both DLSS and FSR, and that they're working hard to implement DLSS, and they expect to bring this feature to everyone in August, so we should still see the feature sometime this month. We also did have the Once Human Twitter saying that they're looking into this, Although, again, it was already in the FAQ section, so maybe there's some miscommunication with the social media team there. As I say, thank you for the suggestion, but overall, again, it was mentioned in the FAQ section. More than likely, we are going to get DLSS, just like we're going to get another feature, which is DX12. Now, they did also mention that they're going to bring DX12 to the game. My assumption is that this is going to come with the DLSS update as well. They did say these were both planned in August. I think we all just assumed that it was going to be in August 1st. However, there's no mention on the patch notes, and we don't have any mention from the social media team or anywhere else but again they mentioned this before so we should be seeing dx12 sometime soon 
Also, we finally have another update with controller support. I've had a ton of comments on the controller support stuff. I've seen it all over social media as well, on the Reddit, everywhere people are asking for controller support. We do actually have an update here on that. The Once Human Twitter account did reply here to someone asking about controller support. They said the controller support will happen within August. And they said to please continue to follow the social media for any announcements with that. Again, of course, I will let you guys know when there is controller support or if we get any additional information there. But it looks like a lot of these features, DX12, DLSS, and the controller support now are all going to happen within the August time period. Jumping over, we did have some brand new events and some new rewards there and what's going on with that stuff and even some new cosmetics. So first up here, we did have the brand new event, Midsummer's Gateway. This is going to be starting August 9th to September 5th. This does include that racing event that I talked about. There's also some harvesting stuff and some additional information there with collecting different unique items. Right now, if you click on participate, you can actually currently claim some items, which are the Crimson Spider Gloves. Later on, we are going to be getting some Star Chrome as well as some additional outfit things there. So again, a nice brand new event with some Star Chrome for you guys so that way you can get your blueprints. I know I desperately need that too. Again, make sure you click on participate and head to the greatest gift is time. Time, and that should reward you with the crimson spider gloves and i believe a few other extras also we did actually get some brand new cosmetics we had a new outfit here called the urban leap pretty cool overall definitely different from some of the recent outfits we've been getting and obviously they do have the male and the female variant here it also looks like we might be getting a new bike skin although this is not included with that bundle specifically and we did also get an additional weapon skin definitely some cool glitch aesthetics here with these weapons I definitely like how they're changing up the cosmetics a lot and not just keeping the same tone there. They're switching it up, so this is definitely some cool cosmetics overall. Also here, we do have an update with Phase 5. So aside from the normal seasonal goals, we're now going to have community goals. And this is a lot of Star Chrome that we can get. In fact, it's an additional 7,500. It seems like this is going to apply again here. It says server wide stage task. This one that this person posted is currently for the Mana Bus and the Prime Wars. I tried going to the same face screen on my game and currently it doesn't show this for me. So I'm not exactly sure if PvP or PvE is going to be different here. But again, this is going to be tied to servers. I know some people will be a little bit upset about that, especially if their servers are not up to par here. But again, it is still kind of cool how this is tied in with the community. So we'll have to see how that plays out for phase five. And just an ending note here, last but unmentionable. I've always showcased some builds in all of my videos recently. I want to showcase another updated home here. This one done by Jacka Lynx. I really like the interior on this one. The lighting is so nice and all the furniture, as well as just how it's furnished overall. But yeah, I figured I would keep featuring builds as these are just getting better and better. Again, I'm sure this one is going to be submitted into that new contest. Super cool here. If you want to check out all the imagery for this home, I will include a link to it down below. As always, that should cover for today's video. If you like, like, and subscribe. And until the next one, deuces.